Hey, Mike with Rogue Pest Control here. In today's video, I want to talk about the movie The Happening. And could that really happen? And are there actually plants that do their own pest control? So, spoiler alert, I guess if you haven't seen the movie The Happening, um, the general premise of it is that humans start going crazy right they start going on murderous rampages committing suicide and the whole movie they don't really know why but they come to find out that it's plants and the planet basically attacking back and they see humans as kind of pests now so they're releasing these enzymes into the air that are causing humans to do all these crazy stuff and basically kill themselves and get rid of those pests so you know while that aspect might not really ever happen in the real world um, it's an interesting concept and brings up the ideas around plants and do they do their own pest control do they have forms of natural pest control so that's what we're going to talk about so one form of natural pest control that plants do is basically going to be like a mechanical uh, form of pest control meaning like they have coverings so Plants will have like barks or thick shells, for example, in that sense that insects and other pests can't get through. Uh, a lot of times they also have like a waxy coating on their leaves or areas where pests could get into. So it makes it a lot harder for them to get in. And then also a lot of plants will have uh, things like thorns or uh, like cactus has spikes, different things like that that will um, actually kill pests as they try and eat them or feed off of them, different things like that. So that's one aspect is kind of like that mechanical uh, pest control that plants naturally have. Another example would be they have a chemical or basically enzymes that they release and that's another form of pest control for plants where basically what can happen is uh, a couple of versions of that one can be things that just taste bad or smell really bad so if a plant gets cut or bit or anything like that harmed in some sort of way they'll release these juices or enzymes and again they'll either smell really bad or they'll taste really bad and so their predators will instead of going and still trying to continue to eat that they'll move on go to a different kind of plant or something else that's going to taste a lot better to them so that's one form of pest control on like the enzyme and chemical level Another form of that is that they actually release these juices or enzymes that are poisonous to their predators. So if somebody eats that plant, a pest eats it, it's going to kill them off. So again, it helps keep those predators away from that plant and keeps that plant safe. Now, kind of for the crazy thing, there's actually uh, forms of what happens in the happening um, of where a plant will create cannibalism or in their predators like have them kill themselves off instead of attacking the plant now again these plants don't necessarily cause cannibalism in these pests if it didn't exist to begin with but if there's certain pests that already have a cannibalistic nature what can happen is as these plants release the enzymes uh, instead of having a choice basically between eating a plant that tastes gross or it smells bad uh, or eating their neighbor eating themselves their own kind they choose the cannibalistic option and they've done tests and studies where they have basically sprayed these plants with this enzyme um, or again cause that defense mechanism to activate in these plants and then tested it with these cannibalistic predators and they found more often than not that the cannibalistic predators would rather turn on their own kind then try and attack these plants so it's kind of pretty interesting it probably will never get to the scale where humans are going to be killing themselves or anything like that that happens in the movie the happening but again there's mild forms of this in nature already and so it's cool where you know there's obviously more study that needs to be done more testing but they could be a form of pest control in the future where we're taking these enzymes and spraying it on crops and then making it so their predators would rather eat something else or eat their own kind uh, if they have that cannibalistic nature than attacking these plants so it's pretty cool interesting facts that are going on so you know could the happening really happen 
Probably not, but mild forms of that do go on in the nature at, at already, and then it could be a way that we could harness that in the future for pest control options. So hopefully you guys got some benefit and value out of this video. You know, if you did, feel free to comment and share. And if you do have pest control issues, be sure to head on over to rovepestcontrol.com. And then if you happen to be a first-time customer with us, you can head on over to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and enter your information there and get access to our uh, great discount on $50 off your first service with us. So again, if you have pest issues, head to rovepestcontrol.com. And then as a first time customer, rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off to get that discount. But thanks again for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.